Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. If you click to watch this video, it means that you probably know what a sticky position is, but you're having issues with it and you want to find the reason your sticky position isn't working. Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to be talking about five reasons your sticky position isn't working. So I'm not going to waste time. I'm just going to jump right into it. So we have a, a container here and we have a, a sticky container and a normal container with a parent container. Now, uh, this class represent the sticky container and the sticky container parent class represent the white uh, div you're seeing here. So what I'm going to do is to make this sticky container sticky, if I take this off, you can see that it has a background. So I just don't want you to see that background. Okay, so I'm going to say position sticky. So that's what, uh, what you probably did. And then you, you scroll and you're like, why is my uh, sticky container not sticky? I've given it uh, a position of sticky. Of course, uh, when you give uh, an absolutely position element, a position of absolute, you could see the effect takes place and you, you could really see it, but then you expect that that's the same thing that is going to happen to your sticky position. Now, the first reason your sticky position isn't working is probably because a threshold is not specified. What do I mean by a threshold? A sticky element requires a threshold to be specified uh, in order for it to work. So you have to set a value, example, top, bottom, in some cases, left or right. We want it to stick to the top. So we're just going to set a threshold of, uh, let's say, 20 pixels from the top. And then when you scroll, you can see that it is sticky. Now, if that doesn't happen, the second reason your sticky position isn't working is probably because the ancestor has an overflow property set to it. Let's say we have uh, this sticky parent, we have an overflow property. Even though it is auto, uh, you can see that it is not sticky anymore. So it doesn't matter whatever you write here, even if you say hidden, uh, as long as an overflow property is set to any of the ancestor, the parent or the grandparent, it is not going to work. The third reason your sticky position may not be working is if the sticky uh, container, the, the parent of the sticky container is a flex item or a grid item and then uh, the the align items is set to stretch so now this is a flex item the parent container of the sticky element so if i say uh, align items and then i say stretch uh, you're going to see that the sticky position will no longer work because uh, all the items are stretched from beginning to the end therefore uh, there is not enough room for it to stretch so you want to make sure that the parent uh, container of the flex I, the flex uh, property or the grid property is not set to stretch. That brings us to the fourth reason why your sticky position may not be working. And that is if the sticky element does not have enough room uh, to stick. So if the parent has no height or the parent, the height of the parent of the sticky element is the same height as the sticky element, uh, it is not going to work because the sticky element won't have enough room or enough area to stick to when scrolling because the sticky element typically sticks or, or scroll within the height of its container. So uh, let, let's go back to what uh, we did. You see, if the sticky element has no room, okay, uh, it is not going to, it's not going to stick. Then another thing is uh, still that can cause the same problem is if the sticky element itself has uh, the align self uh, property uh, of us, uh, not align content align self yep of stretch so if it has a line self it is still not going to stick because it fills up the parent container now let's say we, this parent container i've set it already set it to a minimum height of 300 viewport uh height so if i override that minimum height and i set it to zero uh let me use important there you can see now we really don't have any height here now, if I go ahead and let's say, let's assume that this uh, was, this was a uh, align items, uh, this was align items stretch. Okay. Now let's assume that uh, the, the sticky container had the same height as its parent here, right here. And then maybe the section that we had it, you know, was set to, a minimum height of let's say 300 VH and you can see that when we scroll it is still not going to stick now it may look as if it is obvious here now that is because I have a background so let's just say you didn't have a background and you expect this text to stick 
You see, you wouldn't know what the problem is. Okay, so a lot of times uh, you wouldn't have that background that I have there. And the reason this is not sticking is because the parent doesn't have enough height uh, for it to stick. So let's say assuming that the height of the sticky element was the same height as the parent, it is not going to stick. So I'm just going to remove that, uh, remove this and remove uh, the whole of this. Now the final reason your sticky position may not be working is if a vendor prefix is missing. So you want to make sure you add a vendor prefix to the property value. For example, uh, from Safari 13 and below, if you do not add uh, a prefix to that property, sticky property is not going to work. So what do we mean by a vendor prefix? It is what you've probably seen before. So I'm just going to go position. Now, instead of writing sticky, I'm just going to write webkit dash sticky. And if you're using um, some browsers that don't support sticky position, adding a vendor prefix is going to enable it to work, especially uh, how you're going to know this is if your sticky position is working in some browsers and it's not working in some browsers, you want to make sure that you check that you, you, you've you not forgotten or rather you need to add these uh, vendor prefix to your property. So guys, those are the five reasons uh, your sticky position may not be working. So at the end of this video, I believe you will be able to troubleshoot and find a solution if you ever come across any of these problems. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me and helps YouTube recommend this video to others. And if you don't wanna miss other videos, please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos just like this. And if you haven't subscribed, well, feel free to go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.